Hello and welcome. Welcome to another edition of CPR's Clubhouse Live. My name is CPR Jose Ortiz. I am joined by my tag team partners, my crew, the CPR's Clubhouse crew. We have the Duchess, Cheryl Rodriguez, and of course, the vital assassin himself, DJ Cliff Potts. And tonight, we're going to be reviewing 2021 so far. Now, many of you are probably thinking, we're doing a mid-year review already. Well, CPR's Freestyle Countdown goes from November to November. So right now, we're in the middle of May, and it means that we're already six months in through our 2021, and uh, we are gathering our top 10 songs for 2021 to share with you, the audience of CPR's Clubhouse Crew. CPR's Clubhouse Crew is available in New England, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, also available in California and on uh, 1019 in New York City on the weekends, on Sundays. And so we gathered uh, the crew here today to get their top 10 songs of 2021 so far. Again, I'm CPR Jose Ortiz. I'm winning my Smedium TKA jacket. And uh, I want to again thank our friends here, uh, the CPR's Clubhouse crew, the Duchess and the Vital Assassin. Now, who's going to go first and give me their number 10 song? Maybe I should go first. <laughs> All right, I agree. I should go first, right? So um, let me let me start by saying that 2021 has been a very, um, how do I put it, uh, depressing and um, <laughs> it's also been a very disappointing year. Um, a lot of uh, coming soons and not a lot of releases. Uh, 2020 had great music. We had TKA slipping through my hands. We have Carlos Barrios featuring Sammy Zone. Um, and uh, we also had um, Diddle D's Into the Night. We had a lot of great music in 2020. And now 2021 is slow. Um, right now, I want to get your feedback. Vital Assassin, what do you think of 2021 so far? Yeah, well, if it doesn't pick up in the second half of 2021, this is a very bad follow-up year to 2020 for the genre. And it, you know, I hate to say it, I think it would be hard to recover if they don't have a, a good second half. Smash. What about you, Duchess? I agree. I think it started off with a real lot of promise, and then um, it just slipped through our hands. <laughs> yes. Um, and and it goes it goes to show about the freestyle community itself and how in the freestyle community when you when the music is doing well it does well it uh tka slipping through my hands inspired a great half of 2020 uh with great music again from carlos after dark barrios featuring sammy zone and c bank um and also uh, the song was called believe in love just in case uh you guys were wondering what the song title was uh, also, we got uh, songs from uh, Diddle D into the night, which was a great song throughout the entire year. And uh, yeah. we we sat here shortly, not so long ago, to do our top ten of 2020, and it was kind of hard for us to come up with ten. Uh, is is coming up with ten great songs for 2020 uh, uh, as hard or harder than coming up with uh, ten songs for 2021? Harder. harder. Yeah, so far this year has been, I'm going to call it, the soonish year. Yes. Uh, I've seen a lot of releases. Uh, a lot of the releases that I've seen are not up to par. Uh, some of the releases that have been, been put out by these artists um, do not equate or are better than the songs that they previously released. Um, I won't mention any names at this time. As we get into the discussion, here's my number 10. It's going to be coming up right now. I would say 100 miles per hour, a recent addition to the catalog for 2021. The 100 miles per hour by Louis Marte is my number 10 song for 2021. DJ Cliff Potts, what do you have? My number 10 song is Stephanie Bennett, Hard on the Ooh. Run. That was an honorable mention. Uh, Cheryl Rodriguez, who do you have? Ditto. I had Stephanie Bennett, Hard on the Run, number 10. Uh, it's funny though because we were supposed to do an interview with uh, Stephanie Bennett and we were unable to on our last broadcast uh, and we'll talk about that at the end of this broadcast uh, but um, Heart on the Run has been a song that has been 
uh, very much celebrated in Texas. Uh, she's been there what it looks like to be weekly for new shows. And um, it looks like a promising song for 2021, a song that uh, we didn't think much of, but it took uh, freestyle uh, like a house on fire. So once again, my number 10 is a recent addition to the freestyle community. It's Louis Marte's 100 miles per hour. And the Duchess and the Vinyl Assassin both agreed that they have for number 10, Heart on the Run by Stephanie Bennett. And so right now, I'm gonna give you my number nine. Are you guys ready? Ready for so, so my number nine is a song that we waited for a long time. It's oh, Michaela yeah. Rose um, uh, Seasons. It features uh, Big Pun's son, Chris Rivers. Um, it's an amazing song. Uh, it's a song that everyone should pick up, uh, especially the NSR version by Angel Benna, who is the only freestyle producer in my eyes that could do a gritty, hip hop like uh, freestyle song and make it sound great. I've been playing Seasons uh, for a long time because I've had it in my possession for a good eight months. Um, and I saw that it was released recently in 2021. So it does take my number nine slot. Uh, what do you have for number nine, Cheryl Rodriguez? Oh, this tree keeps poking me in the head. And number nine, I have Rudy Fausto walking away. What do you have for number nine, Cliff Potts? Michaela Rose Seasons. Nice. So, so we agree on something. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> um, I think that um, she has a great voice. And um, I can listen to the NSR version over and over and over and over again. Um, I have been, like I said, for many, many months. And again, um, it's a great introduction to a new artist. I hope that she continues. I know this song was originally a R&B uh, song that was remixed into freestyle, but um, it's definitely a great, um, it's a great song. I, I just, I just, I can't praise it enough. It's uh, one of my favorite songs released in 2021, and it holds my number nine slot. Any additional okay. comments? I, I would think, as you said, I, I mean, I, I like her voice, and the NSR version is the one that yeah. probably drew me to it. And, you know, I'll throw it out there. If there was not an NSR version, it wouldn't be on my top ten. Absolutely right. Um, and, and that's the same with me. I know that there are other producers on that single, uh, but to me, there's no one grittier. There's no one that could get that that grunt. There's no one that understands hip hip hop more in freestyle than Angel Mena. Um, all you have to do is go back and listen to Ready or Not uh, with Cynthia Figueroa, the hip hop version where he sampled uh, the Fugees, um, Ready or Not, and um, it's it's amazing. And you can see that here we are, all these years later, and Michaela Rose Seasons is a song that you definitely have to pick up and hear especially the NSR version. Yeah. Uh, Cliff Potts, what do you have for number eight? This might be a surprise, but um, when I first heard it, he has that defining voice, so you know when he sings it, who it is. And the production, I think, really put it over the top, and it's Let Me Be The One by Joseph Stubb. Well, congratulations going on to Joseph Stubb. Uh, for many years, I've rejected his, his work, and, um, you know, finally, he's gotten together with LMM, that's Louis Marte Music, and his studio, DJ Merquan, and uh, he's uh, put out something of quality. Um, he did not make my countdown in any way, shape, or form at this time. We're looking to see how the song does in 2021. Yeah. Um, Cheryl Rodriguez, who do you have in your spot for number eight? Number eight, I have Ricardo Vasquez with Goodbye. Another guy that didn't make my list. And again, it's a remix of a song that he released previously. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does sound better now than the original. Uh, and I think that Ricardo Vasquez and Joseph Stubb, who are very much close friends, uh, this is an example of mm -hmm. perseverance and people that are trying hard to uh, make an impact in our John Rob music. And I'll also say, you know, in, in regards to Joseph and, and both Ricardo, you know, um, Joseph, as I like to say, you know, it changed camps a little bit went with, you know, um, a, a new production style. And yes. you know, I think it's working for him. Yes, and again, yeah. it's something that uh, I commend him on. When I heard the extended version of the song, I, I really liked it. Uh, it's something that I will play in the future, mm -hmm. and we're going to see what the audience thinks of it and what the audience is going to um, yeah. recognize right. it as. It, maybe it'll make 
CPR's Freestyle Countdown, which returns this week. Yes. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you what landed at, at number eight for me. It's a remix through All Through the Night by Jay Mazur. Uh, mm -hmm. The Jay Adams remix is a song that is very much under the radar and a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, did not um, support. I'm not sure why. It's an excellent song. Uh, once uh, Jay Adams touched it, it became gold mm -hmm. to me. And it's something that uh, everyone should be listening to right now. So my number eight slot does belong to Jay Mazur, The Prince, and All Through the Night, the remix by Jay Adams. Um, who would like to go next to give us a number seven? I think Cheryl Rodriguez should go next. Okay, it was the Gennaro and Jenny Renee remix of Scars. What about you, Vinyl Assassin? Who do you have on your number seven slot? Louis Marte, 100 miles per hour. Perfect. Uh, for me, the number seven slot belongs to Jasmine Dennis, mm -hmm. and that is Stars. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice follow-up to um, the other song that she released previously which was removed from um, digital content and digital media and then put out again under her own uh, label, under her own um, Jasmine Dennis brand. Um, so for those of you who have purchased it, unfortunately, if you didn't download it down into your into your iOS device, onto your digital download library, um, you will have to pay for it again, but it is available right now. And we're talking about Destiny, which is a great song from 2020. This is not as good as Destiny. It's a good follow-up. There is a this is the Artie Rodriguez version that I'm touting, which is number seven. There is a Willie Valentin remix, of course, that we all have, and um, we should all be playing as well. Uh, but my, my number seven slide goes to Jasmine Dennis and Stars. As we count down the top ten songs of 2021 so far, uh, mm -hmm. for me, uh, we have at number ten Louis Marte, 100 miles per hour. Number nine, Michaela Rose. And seasons the NSR remix. Be very, very, very detailed on getting that remix. Uh, number eight, we got the Prince Jim Azor and All Through the Night J.J. Allen's remix. And right now, number seven, we have uh, Jasmine Dennis with Stars. Uh, there are two versions. The original is the Artie Rodriguez version, and the other version is the new artistic remix by Willie Valentine. Um, does anybody want to share their number uh, six song? Sure, why not? Nelson Rego, Broken. What about you, Cheryl? What do you have? I had Stars, Jasmine Dennis. Perfect. Uh, for me, my number six slot belongs to Gennaro featuring Jenny Renee and Scars, uh, the artistic remix. Um, it it's hard to top the original version, yeah. which is a poppy freestyle sound. Um, there were some people that complained that it wasn't freestyle enough. Now, this one is hardcore freestyle. Um, I tend to go towards the original version, uh, but the fact that, that they wrote a new verse for Jenny Renee to sing, uh, it definitely made my top 10 songs of 2021 so far. And again, uh, congratulations going out to Gennaro and Jenny Renee as uh, we look forward to her birthday bash coming up in Florida. Yes. Speaking of Florida, our Vinyl Assassin has some dates in Florida. Uh, Vinyl Assassin, where will you be performing and spinning in Florida. Uh, May 28th, uh, Daytona Beach at the Hard Rock. I can't wait to see those those um, short shorts, white legs, chicken legs. You know what I mean? You don't want to have your, have your body is red, your, he your, your, your head is red, and you take out the shirt, it's all white. Your yeah. arms are red. That's going to be me yeah. from New York on the beach the next day. So just your shins the, the are red. White person. That's going to be me. What other, day, <laughs> what other days do you have? Um, June 5th. Um, in Tampa at the Avalon Event Center. Perfect. Um, and then I'll be back down there July 4th in Orlando. Um, nothing is signed yet, so I don't know where, but Perfect. July 4th in Orlando. I'm truly, truly proud of you, and I, I keep yes. wanting for people to continue to book you and fly you out wherever you need to. As we continue on with the top 10 songs of 2021 so far, uh, the reason why you're seeing this on YouTube and you hear no music is because of the fact that I don't want a copyright claim. Um, right now at my number fifth spot, it's Nelson Rago, the guy that hates uh, leg day. It's uh, We Weren't <laughs> Meant to Be. Uh, check out the video right now. It's available on YouTube. You can check it out. It's once again, Nelson Rago, We Weren't Meant to Be. It's my number fifth song 
uh, for the top 10 songs of 2021 so far. Um, it, Nelson Rigo has come into his own. Um, I know that you had it on your list. Um, you had the other song, Broken. Broken also made it to my list. Um, we had uh, the Duchess hiding from me. She just left. <laughs> uh, so who do you who did you have for number five, uh, Vital Assassin? Jasmine Dennis Stars. Great, Duchess. Who do you have for number five? Great, thank you. Number no no no. I'm here. But my thing is dying, and I just didn't. I hope I'm not charging, so I'm I am trying not to lose you. Um, number five, I have Antonio. He just got in there. I'm 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 really digging it. Can you hear me? Is it because he invited you to his house? No. Just checking. A, a little payola plugola in there. No, I love the song. I, I I did when he sent it to me. I I really dig it. It's my number five. Well, your number, your number five. Your number five for twenty twenty one is Antonio Mercado from Touch of Quality. What is the title of the song? Yes, my last breath. Yeah, it looks like you're taking it right now. <laughs> uh, so again, we go back. You know, for me, uh, I go with. Uh, I know production is important. I know that writing is important, and my cousin from Touch of Quality has both. Uh, for me, also, it's um, about the vocals and the vocal arrangement. Uh, so he didn't make my list. Um, I know, no, don't be, don't be upset with me, cousin. Uh, so you didn't make my list, cousin. But uh, Nelson Rego is number five. With we weren't meant to be is leg day uh, Wednesday for Nelson Rego, and I hope that uh, he pop you up. Uh, and, and, sure, and I will say, just going back to a Antonio, um, when he sent it over to me, you know, I was digging it. I could probably say if we had a top 11, he would probably yes. be my 11. Um, I, I, I do like the vocals. Um, I think his voice really sounds good on this track. And um, I'm can not you believe that, that voice comes out of that man? <laughs> you know, like you're like, yo, who is this guy? This would be a big, burly African American gentleman that's three hundred pounds, you know. And then you see this skinny model, you know, with that big yeah. voice. And then E and P, they did their. Uh, they had. Uh, yes. I think the production was really well on it. Um, so. Yes, a big shout out got to Artie Rodriguez, who also did a great job on the production, the writing, and and uh, and whatever he did for that that song uh, for Antonio Mercado, "My Last Breath," available right now on all your favorite digital distribution sites. If you want to see the interview we did with Antonio Mercado and Jay Rivera, collectively known as Touch of Quality, just go to the YouTube page and look for CPR's Clubhouse Live featuring Touch of Quality. It has a lot of great detail. It has a lot of information in there that you want to hear. Now, that shirt that you're wearing right now, who does it belong to? So this is a shirt that was given to me by New York City Rhythm, nycrhythm.com. And uh, what what music do they uh, specialize on? You know what I, they they play a little bit of everything. You know, freestyle house, R and B, classics, disco. Um, you know the the reggae. So it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, sometimes I listen to it to get rid of my freestyle monotony. Yes, don't forget that you can catch the CPR's Clubhouse crew. All three of us. Uh, my name is CPR Jose Ortiz. This is the Vinyl Assassin DJ Cliff Potts, and you can catch us to the together collectively on uh, 105.9 on Friday nights, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, you're going to hear the countdown, and then after the countdown, you hear a 10-minute mix by the Vinyl Assassin himself. Um, you can go to rhythm1059.com uh, to get the link to the app, and also you can listen on their website. Also on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Duchess, Cheryl Rodriguez, on 90.7 FM, WTCC in Western Massachusetts and Connecticut. And after her at 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time is CPR's Clubhouse at the Countdown. That will be me, along with the Vinyl Assassin, DJ Cliff Potts, for about 10 minute mix. And then I have another hour which I dedicate to mixes by the Vinyl Assassin um, and also other DJs that are, you know, part of my my life, like DJ Porky and Jesus the Juice Vasquez. Also on Sundays, you can catch all three of us, uh, the CPR's Clubhouse crew, New York City, on 1019 Party. Um, it's a app that you can download or you can catch them on iHeartRadio. CPR's Clubhouse crew is live every Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you hear 30 minutes of the Duchess, Cheryl Rodriguez, 30 minutes of the Vinyl Assassin, sometimes an hour. 
and then CPR's Freestyle Countdown. I've taken some time off uh, throughout the month because of the fact that um, there wasn't any good quality freestyle music to count down. Now we do have some, and uh, you know I couldn't just play Heart on the Run for 25 weeks in a row. Um, so again, it's uh, it's something about the quality and the the releases of music in 2021 that I'm really questioning. There's a lot of bad music coming out right now, uh, either bad vocals or bad production or bad mix down. Um, there are some new people that are entering the race, but um, they have to get seasoned. They have to go to finishing school. Uh, and again, we're waiting for our Duchess to come back. And uh, we're going to continue on with our number three song on our countdown. Number four. Uh, uh, number four. Okay. Number four. So right now we're into number four. What is your number four vital assassin? Um, Nelson Rago. We weren't meant to be. Uh, for me, uh, the year started very good with Walking Away with Rudy Fausto, that three-part story. Um, the thing about Rudy Fausto is that he's been releasing his music in January, and I guess he's going to have to hold off his music for a later part of the year. Because I, I think that people sometimes forget about him since he does come out, you know, he comes off the gate, you know, at the beginning of the year, hot and heavy. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna think of a new release month for Rudy Fausto instead of January or December or November. You know, I know that this one was beyond his control because it was released without his knowledge. Um, but but again, it it'll be great if Rudy Fausto can get a April release for any of the songs, so he can get a a, a longer uh, airplay and not be forgotten. Yeah, but for me. For me, Rudy Fossil's Walking Away at number four is amazing. It's a great song. Um, it's a three-part story, which I love. Uh, the beginning of the story is the man walking away from his family. Um, he did not want the responsibility of being a father. The second part of the story is the man coming back and saying that he's changed and he's different and the woman telling him it's too late. Um, you know, she had to move on and walk away. And then uh, the, the third part of the story is him actually meeting his son and as he meets his son his son is telling him he's going to be a better man than he ever was and that he's going to walk away as well joining us again once again is the duchess cheryl rodriguez about time you come back i am so it's okay it's not a problem now we Power. can't hear you no oh. problem um did you did you want to give us who was your number four uh, for 2021 so far me yes I would love to. It was uh, Nelson Rego, and we weren't meant to be. And that, I, I guess, you are matching songs with the vinyl assassin <laughs> DJ Cliff Potts, because that's the same one that he chose. I chose Rudy Fausto walking away, and I talked about how brilliant it is, and the fact that he needed he needed to release this song a little bit later in the year uh, of 2021 instead of releasing it at the beginning of the year, because we tend to forget about him. At, and, um, and, I, and I don't want to go on a tangent, but, you know, I think the song is great. He's coming up a little bit later in on, you know, my top 10. But just going back to what you said, you know, he released it early. It was forgotten about. And it's a shame. And God, I know I'm going to get some slack for this. But that's that's what happens when social media who doesn't understand quality mm -hmm. music. Yes. Pushes some. Um, bad music to people who, you know, oh, it must be good if they're promoting it and, and they don't right. have a, a mindset of understanding the music. Let's take a moment and talk about social media. Um, 2020 had a lot of feedback from social media. A lot of people that um, were fans that were trying to be more important than the artists themselves. And here we are, a new trend in 2021, a new old trend of people continuing to try to be more important than the artists that are trying to promote themselves. And to me, um, when you listen to, when, when you are a fan and you're listening to what another fan says and you're not making up your mind by getting factual information, that does a disservice not only to you as a fan, but also to the genre itself. So for me, I, I feel that um, we are gonna have to focus, and we have been, on promoting good quality content and not worrying about what others say to sell a shirt or to, to become a, a influencer of some kind. Uh, we got to stay our course. 
And by staying our course is by providing the best content available to anyone who's listening, where every week um, we're either featuring a new song or we're promoting good quality, good quality content. Uh, so, you know, uh, going back on the list here, um, number 10, Louis Marte, 100 miles per hour. Number nine, Michaela Rose and Seasons, the NSR remix. Uh, number eight, Jay Mazur, All Through the Night, the Jay Adams remix. Uh, number seven, Jasmine Dennis Stars. You could choose the Artie mix or the artistic remix. Number six, Gennaro featuring Jane Renee, Scars, the artistic remix for 2021. Uh, number five, Nelson Rago for me with We Weren't Meant to Be. Uh, you guys had him at number four. Um, and number four for me was Rudy Fausto and um, uh, Walking Away. Uh, right now, I'm going to bring in my number three song for 2021. Uh, for me, it was a mistake for people to hold on to this song for so long and not release it when it was uh, already ready to go. So they pulled back on the song Broken by Nelson Rago, which lands at number three. Uh, they put out the video, they premiered it, and then they wanted to hold it back. Um, and they didn't release it immediately. They waited for We Were Meant to Be to be also released uh, together with this song. And I thought that was a mistake because it kind of um, it kind of killed the song. Um, and it's not something that you want to do when you have a great song. I personally think that Broken is better than We Were Meant to Be, in my opinion. Uh, but I agree. But, I, and, personally. And, and I think that Nelson Rago has come to his own. Um, I'm glad that he's, you know, with JM's music. And I, I'm glad that he's doing new music with Jams. Um, I know that he abducted Jams and has him somewhere uh, in Fall River um, in the basement, <laughs> making sure that he's working hard on new music. I know that there will be new music coming out from Jams music and from Nelson Rago and, of course, George Anthony. And uh, our audience seems to get upset for some reason uh, because they tend to blur their lines. And um, you have to be a, a, a person who understands that there is a hierarchy when it comes to, you know, what you are supposed to get into or not get into. As a fan, you're supposed to enjoy the music and be a fan, not try to get the behind the scenes um, gossip and, and information. So then later on, you could try to pass it off as you being an insider. Um, as a fan, you're not supposed to be more popular than the artist putting out the music. And as a fan, you're not supposed to be out there making it seem like you are a, a, a multi-million dollar mogul that can um, that can influence everyone into not giving a crap about what you don't give a crap about, because that's not how it works. Yeah, I think Any I'll just go back to Ed where, uh, you know, you talked about, you know, to me, they cannibalized whichever song you want to choose, releasing them so close to each other. Um, and, right. and, you know, the problem with that is they got lucky from the standpoint of there was not too much quality out. So, yes, you, right. you got a, a and little both bit songs of a were, were pretty good, there. you know. Yeah. If it was yeah, like but, the beginning of 2020, it, you were going to get lost in the sauce with one of them. It was, it was yes. just going to happen. Even if, though it was good, um, you know, they, they cannibalized it. Yeah, Broken is right, a better song right. than we were meant to be, in my right. opinion. Right. Uh, and, and, speak, and I love that reintroduction to Nelson Rago, but because b before that, he was doing, he had a duet in Spanish and in um, Portuguese with Mia, which I turned away immediately, not because of the language, but because the song was played out through 2020. And um, they are playing it on our, on our Polish uh, post. Um, uh, Portuguese programming. I always say Polish for some reason, uh, but our Portuguese por programming is playing the song with Mia and, and Nelson Rego. Uh, Nelson Rego is a known commodity in New England because he does promote himself in his community. Um, and then uh, there's also um, a, a thing about Nelson Rego that attracts his community to wanting to support him in freestyle, which is a good thing. Um, I, I championed Nelson Rago in 2021 because he's earned it, uh, and we're not friends. Um, we have not even met in person yet. Um, we've had a couple of interviews. I know his background, but again, we go back to that hierarchy situation. I am a radio personality. Whatever is going on in Nelson Rago's personal life, even though I may, know, may or may not know about it, 
Right. That's none of my business. And we shouldn't make it our business. It, sh it shouldn't be about, uh, you know, who Nelson Ray goes slept with or, you know, what team he's on. It should be about talent. Uh, just like Michaela Rose seasons, right. the NSR remix. And I, I've, I've talked about this uh, before the year started. And I said that everybody was going to get a clean slate. Uh, during that time, some people pissed that opportunity away because they don't understand that I'm not interested in the background shenanigans. Uh, I don't care how you feel about George Anthony. Uh, you know, George Anthony gets away with murder because of the fact that he knows what it's like to be an artist and he knows how to behave with one as one. Um, and that's that's the whole point of this mu music business. We all know that artists have their way of being behind the scenes, but it's how they carry themselves in front of the camera that matters to the audience. So rumors, innuendo, assumption that you know the people that are in the in the know that think that they know more than somebody else, or that they base their opinion on you know you know how people change sides uh, based on who got to them first or they change their opinion based on, you know, if this person is doing whatever they, they want them to do for them, or if they, they you know, there was an issue a few months ago or a month ago in regards to artists not sticking up for fans, which is not the hierarchy. Um, you know, the artist can have a, a conversation in private with the person that's having an issue with the fan, but they can't, can't make it public. And I try, I've tried to explain that before to many of the people out there that we got to we gotta wait and, and see what happens. Everybody wants instant gratification. They want it now. Yeah, I think, you know, just going back to social media real quick, that's become, you know, the driver for self-promotion, especially with freestyle, because you don't have the backings of labels anymore. So you, you head to where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. And that's essentially free, right? Um, but I think the problem becomes is you get too close via social media with people and then you do something wrong. You, you, they put you on blast. You're putting them on blast. And it becomes, you know, this this yeah. drama yeah. sense where you got to step back and have that self-promotion. But don't get yourself caught up. Don't get yourself close enough to put yourself in a situation. And that's I had my, I, had, I think I had assumptions. Cheryl, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I think that the social media is half of the reason why uh, the music uh, thus far this year has been as as not lacking as it has been. It's the social media that drives the connection between it all, because like Cliff said, that that's what we have right now. And he's it's free advertising. He's absolutely correct. But w w all this stuff that goes on behind the scenes with the social media and the he said, she said, and this and that and the other. And like you said, getting their personal lives involved in it all. It takes away yeah. from the music and it takes away from their drive and, and they're and not also, pushing water. Right, right. Yes, and I, and I also want to say that artists, right. a lot of different artists have tried to influence either my countdown or they have tried to tell me not to play a certain artist. And that's not how it works. The only reason you don't hear artists or some artists played on my show is because they messed up that opportunity or whoever represents them messed up that opportunity. It has nothing to do with the music itself. Uh, if you don't hear a certain artist on my show, it's because they messed up. And it's because they went publicly on social media and said, you know, we don't need CPR's Clubhouse or Clubhouse Dance Music, or we don't need his show to promote us. Well, I, like I've said before, if you say that you don't need us to promote you, we won't, and we'll give your five minutes to somebody else. We'll give it to a Ricardo Vasquez or Joseph T. Stubb uh, or we'll give it to somebody that appreciates it because there are artists out there that appreciate it and don't take it for granted. And so Absolutely. right now, and I, and I hope that people understand where we're coming from when we're talking about this, that there's too much focus on, hey, this fan said this about this artist. We have to believe them because right. they're supposedly in the know. Well, guess what? That fan is for sale. That fan right. is also a person that changes their mind uh, depending on who got to them first or or how they were how they felt they should be treated. Um, there are fans out there again that think that they're higher than the DJs, higher than the artists, higher than the, the promoters, higher than the producers. And those are the ones that we have to uh, stay away from them. Um, you know, the 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 influencer that's telling you, um, you know, I don't hang with this person anymore. 
um, and 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 okay, fine. You don't hang with that person anymore. Does that mean that I can't hang with that person anymore? That has nothing to do with you, and it has nothing to do with me and that fan. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just my personal choice. Unfortunately, that's so much of how things work right now. You know, somebody says, "Oh, I don't like." Stevie B. Well, well, then everybody following that person. Well, they're canceling Stevie B. Like they don't even feel for themselves. They don't really give. Have their I want to say this. I want to say this. There is no such thing as freestyle cancel culture. No one has yep. been canceled. Frankie right. Cullis right. has not been canceled. That's Bernardo the point. has not been canceled. These people have not been canceled, and they won't be canceled because all of you are intrigued on what they're going to do next. CPR has not been canceled, even though you have tried. Mm -hmm. um, it, he's just not going to be canceled. Uh, not even a blood clot can cancel me, damn it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and, you know, um, I, I was going to say, it's I think crazy. back to the quality, right? I, I mean, I myself, from a social media aspect, my block list is probably bigger than my friends list at this point. Yes. Um, <laughs> I see something and I'm like, you know, and I don't care who you are. You have a good track. I'm going to play it. You know, yes. what turns me away is when, you know, you have a subpar track and they're going through the social media outlet, right? Granted, that's their, that's their free promotion. But when you have sites or people then pushing that, I automatically, you know, I block them because- yes. You're, you're now trying to push a product that's subpar. So if you're trying yes. to push a product that's subpar to me, you don't know what you're talking about. So I, I can't, I don't want to see anything you have to say. And I, well, I will throw you know, this a I, little bit back to the artist too, because yes. sometimes the artists promote things that they shouldn't be promoting. So yes. to me, it's like, does this artist, does he hear something that I don't? Because, you know, they, why are they saying it's so good? And then that leads me to go, <laughs> do they even hear themselves wearing, when they're in the studio yeah. singing? I, I said the same thing, you know, I pre-ordered the Diddle D song, the new one, and I was thinking about it, and I heard it, and I kept on hearing it, and I'm like, this is not as good as Into the Night, it does not surpass it, it don't even equal to Into the Night, so, you know, we're going to play it, it's not going to be a high rotation song, and hopefully it does pick up, and hopefully people will, will pick up with it as they did with Into the Night, but again, when these people choose projects, who do they speak to? They didn't speak to me. And they may say, who are you? You know what I mean? To, for me to ask. Well, I'm the executive producer of Slipping Through My Hands. So, <laughs> which is the number one song of 2020, which some of you are not even close to, to matching. Uh, and it's, it's unfortunate because of the fact that I had a lot of hope for 2021. Um, yeah. Now they're trying to cancel artists. You know, like, for example, where's the Monet song? I, I was I was I've waiting, been for, waiting Monet's, for that. Me too. I was waiting for Monet's new song to come out ASAP, Me too. and I have not um, seen that come to fruition. Yeah. I've been waiting for new music. I know Koala Bay is releasing something new, and, and again, um, it, it, for you artists, it also depends on who do you have promoting your material for you, and what they say to the community uh, speaking on your behalf. You have to be careful on that um, because. I'm the executive producer of the new actual uh, album, and I'm not going to come out here and tell you you got to pick up this album. If you don't pick up this album, you're an idiot. Um, you're gonna. I'm going to play choice cuts from that album, and I'm going to convince you that way that you should be playing it and you should be purchasing it. Um, you're not mandated to do that. You can support whoever you want. If you want to buy a shirt, if you want to buy a jacket, a hat, a face mask, if you want to buy um, George Anthony condoms, um, they break, by the way. Um, you know, whatever, buy whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. Support. I'm still waiting for my George Anthony mug, which is what I requested. Uh, but again, uh, it's something that you have to understand. There is a difference between the artist and the fan. The artist is supposed to take care of the fan in a way where they talk to them on a daily basis and they try to be uh, positive that positive juju stuff, you know, that, that vibes or whatever. Um, not everyone is going to be a hundred percent accurate on that positivity, especially when there's somebody going on the contrary on everything that you do or putting you under the microscope as all artists are. Okay. Does anybody have any additional comments? No. Cheryl? Pops? Yeah. 
Not yet. <laughs> so we're going to continue on with the top two songs on our list. Um, who wants to go first with their number two song on uh, the top 10 songs of 2021 so far? I'll go first. Go ahead. My number two song is Mia, Inside Out. What about you, Cliff Potts? Walking Away, Rudy Fausto. Nice. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, this song right here has been amazing. That's Marilyn Torres in exchange for what? 22 weeks on CPR's Freestyle Countdown. Mm -hmm. And these are the remixes released in 2021. It does hold my number two spot because of its longevity, because of the quality. And this is a prime example of how you promote a good quality freestyle right. song for weeks on end. Um, we, there's we, CDs. we skipped three. Did we skip three? I, I had yeah. Nelson well, Rago. She's frozen. Frozen. Uh, Are you guys I frozen? I had Nelson Rago four. And why I skipped three is I looked at it and I have Marilyn Torres in exchange for what is three. Perfect. So we got we got the one that you have. Yeah. Um, Wait, I'm frozen. Okay, yeah, what? yeah, you're frozen and you're kind of threatening me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you have for number three? I had broken Nelson Rego. Perfect. Um, again, I think Nelson Rego's broken <laughs> is uh, better than we weren't meant to be. I agree. Um, he, he grew on me. I, I wasn't quite a fan in the beginning, but I really, really enjoyed Broken. And, and yes. We Weren't Meant to Be was great, too. But I agree with you. I like Broken better. Yes. And it's leg day, by the way. Uh, Marilyn Torres, in exchange for what? Uh, Cliff, what would you like to say about the song? Uh, I mean, to your point, um, it, it was great production. Yeah. The versions that they gave you were all quality production ver versions. And it was something that you don't really see today in a lot of in a lot of tracks. Usually, it's just here you go. This is what you got. They, you know, it, it was it's a quality EP. Yes, uh, unfortunately, the follow up to uh, "In Exchange for What" wasn't as good as "In Exchange for What." I don't blame the artist. I blame the fact that they chose the wrong project as a follow up. But we're looking forward to better new music from Marilyn Torres um, and. I know that I made a comment on social media that if you um, premiere your song in a freestyle group, I'm going to treat you like an artist that premieres their song in a freestyle group. Now, let me ask you as a DJ, Cliff Potts, why is premiering a song in a freestyle group a good or bad idea? Bad idea. Why? Whether your song is good or not. If I'm somebody who's running this freestyle show or freestyle, you know, page and you give me the opportunity, I am going to tell you nothing but great things about your track and how good you are. You are not going to get honest feedback from me because my page is, you know, going to get an exclusive, you know, what, once a year. So let me not blow this so you come back to me. So I'm going to feed right. you whatever you want. And the problem with the social media sites is, let's be honest, it's the same 30 people on every single site and and everything is fire everything's fire everything you know you're absolutely right and um and to your point it, it wasn't um and you know there's nothing like i'm gonna you know go back to old school there's nothing like premiering your song i don't care if it's uh 90 on the dial or 104 on the dial you know it's it's on FM radio. It's yes. AC Nielsen. Okay. Um, it's charted. It's sound scanned or sound exchanged. Um, if you registered it correctly. Correct. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, and you're going to get the true of opinions of whether people are turning your dial when they hear your track or they're right. actually sticking around to listen to it. You're not going to get that on social media site. They want that instant gratification. I want to know now if you like it. And so for, for me... Fire. Cheryl, do you have a comment in regards to premiering songs on on uh, social media groups? I absolutely agree with Cliff for that very reason. Uh, not, not to mention, uh, the, you know, who is you're, you're you're subjecting yourself to such a small individual crowd as opposed to what Cliff's point is all about, like with FM radio. I mean, the. the there's no comparison and you're just you're limiting yourself to like he said and unfortunately it is the tree you know you go through it's the same 30 40. so some people say that effort radio is dead that's what people say well the problem 
is it, it's very much not. And it, whether it's something, whether it's a podcast or whether you're FM radio, when you're in the car, when you're any, that's what people are listening to. And 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 that's where you can get the true facts of of what is happening as opposed to other people telling you or, or looking at little numbers because you could put something up on Facebook and someone could like it all they want. It don't mean they really like it. it. It's just a little hot, you know, big deal. When you put something on FM radio and you're getting statistics and, and actual facts about how well the song is doing, do people care? That's what matters. And they might be the same 30 people listening to the FM radio that they are in that group. But what's going to count is the way that they are limiting themselves by these groups. Get out of the groups. For goodness sakes, don't premiere a song in one. I mean, just don't. Like, why would you put yourself in that circle, that little bubble? Let me That's take you I back in time. The only time that social media has helped the song uh, become popular and make some sales was when Carlos Berrios released Sammy Songs Without You. And that was almost 20 years ago. Uh, again, um, it's something that um, it's um, it's something that it doesn't do anything other for you as an artist. It only does for the administrator and the moderators that are right. promoting it in that group. Yeah, you know, I'll just and, say and real so quick in regards to the FM radio. You know, to show this point, a lot of people say, "Oh, FM radio is dead," and FM radio is dead, especially when they talk about freestyle. And I can see their point because you know. KTU, you know, I'll just use it from a New York perspective, is not playing freestyle. Right. You know, right. commercials don't count, right? So they're not yeah. playing freestyle, so they're saying it's dead. Yeah. But right. when you go across the United States and you look at, once again, it might be 90.7 on the dial or it's 105.9 on the dial, stations right. are playing it and people are hearing it. It might not be your people who are on social media hearing it because they're outside the listening area and they choose not to listen to. But where it's being right. played, people are listening to it. Yeah, what I will say is um, if you give me your song and it's of quality for six months, if I book you for a show, the the audience will be singing the song along with you. Right. And and that's a guarantee. You could ask yeah. the man they call Shy about that. Um, I, I made him that promise. He came, he sang a song, and they were singing it with him. And they were he was he was so shocked. Um and and again, when you premiere your song in a social media group. That only does good, not for the artist, but for the administrator and the person that put it together. Um, it doesn't do anything for the artist. It does not promote any sales. Um, it doesn't help. Um, only time that that worked was when we did a collective uh, release um, and the, the websites that we had back in the day, uh, whatyoumissing.com, um, latinfreestyle.com, and all the dot coms um, released uh, the Carlos Barrios without you. Uh, we didn't have social media the way that it is right now. Right. It was different. Um, it was different. We had online radio stations. The number one online radio station was the WCM radio, which was the mm -hmm. I radio station with um, that was managed by Rafael Reyes, the unknown mm -hmm. admin, and uh, I was part owner of with him and Teddy Navas. Um, and then there were other platforms like DJ Paradise and the Freestyle File, which is just the 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 OGs, the number one online radio station show of all time. Uh, these are the, the, the platforms that matter at the time. Now there is no platform that actually matters uh, because people, there's just so many. Um, you know, I, I enjoy uh, at times what um, the Puerto Rican gangster does on Fridays. Um, <laughs> I, I've attempted to listen to the Freestyle Spotlight Countdown a couple of times, but those guys have not improved in any way, shape or form. And um, you know, I've heard, you know, between the, the grapevine uh, um, that um, when uh, the DJs give their top three or top four songs, they're never considered. <coughs> um, so Cliff Potts can say, hey, I love that TKA it's slipping through my hands. And they're like, what? The Paw Boys, number one. And you're like, what the hell? That's not on my list. Um, and I'm trying to have conversations. And they, they just, they agree with everyone. They were talking to Benny Velez a few weeks ago and they were telling Benny Velez that his new song was amazing. And I was like, the one that's yelling Stevie B and all that stuff in his song, they were telling him that his song was amazing, that he could do a bunch of different flows. And I'm like, they're not being honest with this guy in any way, shape or form. Uh, and, but that, and goes again, back to, that goes back to what I said. I, I think, you know, I saw the flyer. I think he was uh, on the show a week or two right. ago and that's the problem with social media 
is yeah. oh they, they have to do my show you're you're gonna be right. great no matter what yeah they they right. did a pat they did a panel of djs which i listened to which is really good i enjoyed what um i keep calling him the puerto rican gangster um but racer. is what, dj racer what he said i agreed with what he said um and there's a reason why artists do not go to these i radio stations to to promote their music is because they're a non-issue um for $25 a month, anybody can have an iRadio station, right? And they have up to 10,000 listeners, right? Do you know how many listeners those iRadio stations get? Not more than 100 uh, at a time. And when you're listening to people that can't speak or can't enunciate an artist's name, um, it's less than 30. Whoever is in that chat room is the number that is your, that what you're getting. And when I was I was affiliated with that radio station, they used to lie to me all the time and tell me that there were 10,000 people in Egypt listening to me, you know, and, and I'm like, okay, here's 40 bucks, you know? Uh, and, 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 uh, I realized quickly that that was all crap. You know, um, I'm going to probably get some shit at some point for saying this once people listen to it, but you know, back in the day, right. I was a billboard reporter. I had to report to my record pool. I had to report to a street top 20, um, and, and I'm sure there was, and, uh, you know, a, a, it might have been DMA magazine or something I was giving, you know. Yes. So there was four, right? Um, I was reporting my top 10. To, uh, besides, you know, giving CPR, um, my top, I gave it to two other, two other people. Um, right. One who doesn't have anything to do with online and one who does. Um, the, one who, um, the one who is online... Um, you know, I like to say they they fired me um, because I, I was. How do you providing... get fired on your day off? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. How do you uh, fire your day off? Um, and, and you know, they claimed that it was a conflict uh, of interest, and I, yeah. you know, me, I, I don't care. You don't want my top ten? Great. Um, you know, I probably have more exposure to top ten on various outlets than all of your other DJs who are reporting. Right. So you don't want mine? Great. I'll take it away. I don't care. But it just I trust goes, you. I trust you. I trust what you have to say more than anybody that they can get three times over on their on their show to report. And, to them. and when they said, you know, it was a conflict of interest because I report elsewhere, it was. Isn't that what you want? Don't you want to know what's being reported out there? As I go back to saying, I reported to four different places prior. Everybody right. wanted to know if if you were able to get crowd reactions, whether you hear it from the radio or in a club. People wanted to know what you thought about the songs, so I don't know how yeah, yeah. reporting is a yeah. conflict. I, I just don't. I, I think it's is um is depending on who's running it and how they feel that day, and and they want all your uh, all your loyalty to go to them, and you can't have any loyalty for yourself or you can't have any taste. Um, right. And for and for me, I'd rather have taste and I'd rather be not liked because. I can give you feedback on a song Agreed. and tell you that that yeah. Benny Valet song is not a good song and that he got to go back to the drawing board and that that chanting of 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 uh, Stevie B and all the legends was atrocious. I can say that and I can say that here on the show and I can take the responsibility of speaking to the artist uh, because I'm not going to lie to them and and cover um cover myself with, with lying to them. Um you know all these songs right here I appreciate yeah. Are these top ten songs better than the top ten songs of 2020? No, but I'm I'm keeping with my tradition of having a countdown. Um, I took the whole month of April off and did not have a freestyle countdown because I thought that there was nothing coming out of quality. And and when I when I hear some of these iRadio stations playing whoever, whatever, whenever, it it, it kind of defeats the purpose. Right. Of playing good quality freestyle music, you're scaring the new audience away. That's just my opinion. Uh, and and again, I have the number one freestyle show in all of freestyle. I will keep saying it because it's facts. 30 years plus FM radio, six hours a week. Um, you could make any joke or many or, or many or any insult that you want, and you do. But the fact of the matter is this, you all listen to my show because the Freestyle Spotlight Countdown is a derivative of the CPR's Freestyle Countdown. 
they copied my countdown. They try to make it better, and, and it stinks. It sucks. It's not a good countdown at all. I listened to what they deem number one, and all you have to do is re retweet something three times, and hey, I'm number one again. Um, and the host can't even enunciate the artist's name, um, and it's embarrassing. Um, why don't you ask the artist to enunciate? They can actually leave you a, a detailed voice message to let you know that Blue Ivy is Blue Ivy, that, uh, uh, you know, that um, Elvira Maglino is Elvira Maglino, not Maligno or Migliosis. It's not some kind of disease. Um, you know, it, you guys got to do better. You know, and, and this is years and years of every week you wasting people's time with your countdown to be able to not even enunciate people's names correctly. And it, it's just embarrassing for anyone that puts a countdown like this together. And thank goodness that they're only on iRadio station and only 30 people listen to them on a weekly basis live. Um, and those 30 people are probably the same DJs that report that open up new windows to make it 30. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I was just going to say, I, I don't think, you know, and I'm not saying this because we're CPR's clubhouse crew, but, you know, I'm CPR's, saying it. No, I'm saying it. I'm saying this. I'm going, you know, we have to give credit to, to you because yeah. what started at 90.7 uh, WTCC has been expanded. And, yeah. and I can't take credit for it. This is this freestyle countdown is a clubhouse dance music freestyle countdown that has been going on for 30 years that people actually took seriously. As a matter of fact, I can go into my archives right now and pull a countdown from 1996 if I wanted to and tell you what the top 10 songs were back then. Um, and did I agree with everything that they had? No. That's why I created mine on CPR's Clubhouse at 103.5. And then we merged both our countdowns together so we could have the ultimate countdown. And I, I earned this countdown. You know, I had to earn the respect of Jesus, the Juice Vasquez, Louis, the Legend Rodriguez. And so, and people are like, who are those people? Those people are the ones that, if it wasn't for them, there would be zero freestyle in New England, in Massachusetts and Connecticut. You know, they, they, who do you know that is, other than Tim Spinning Schomer, that is responsible for freestyle in two different states? No one. And that is Jesus the Juice Vasquez, Louis the Legend Rodriguez, Sadie Marini. After that was Alex Rivera, then CPR Jose Ortiz, then Becky Osorio, then Philip Anthony. You know, now Cheryl Rodriguez, the Duchess, with us here. And she respects tradition. And that's why she's on our show because she worked her butt off. She worked a year. She's still working every week. I tell, I give her notes that she doesn't request, I give her the notes. And I said, you can't save my friends more than three times on your show. Mm -hmm. um, and now she can't save my friends more than three times on her show. Mm -hmm. She can't play any new freestyle music. Why? Because I know that people would try to separate us if she was playing new freestyle music. I don't tell the Vinyl Assassin what to play on, on his mix because he is allowed to play whatever he wants on his mix. Um, and that doesn't mean that you're going to pay him off now because he's not for sale. <laughs> And that's the best part about the CPR's Clubhouse crew. Right. Um, and there's somebody watching right now and they're talking junk or making a comment on social media because they only listen to what they wanted to listen to. Right. And what I say to them is, if you put hard work like we do to put out a good quality show on a weekly basis, and then you hear the other ones and they're not doing a good job, they're not even asking you for your feedback. I'm, I, why don't they call me and ask me for my feedback? They never asked me for my permission to do a new countdown, right? They never said, hey, is this okay? Do, do you have an issue? It's called tradition. It's called hierarchy, right? Not because you're paying $25 a month for an iRadio station. You could do a countdown and you can make believe that Betty Valesa's new song is good. And you could you could, you could could say Jace's name incorrectly and wait for him to tell you how to enunciate it. And 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 uh, same thing with Elvira Maglino. And same thing with 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 the, with every countdown every week, they struggle to even mention any of these names. Um, and there's only one countdown that I trust, and I haven't listened to it in a, in a while, and and that is the countdown by the unknown admin, uh, Rafael Reyes. He understands tradition. He understands how a countdown is done, um, just like I understand now how to manage uh, my website. Uh, that's thanks to him. 
Um, you know, and I ho hopefully I rubbed up on him or rub rub off on him, not rubbed up. Sorry, buddy. Let me give you your, <laughs> let me let me give you your leg back. Um, and so right now we are counting down the top ten freestyle songs of 2021 so far. Number ten, we have a new entry in Louis Marte, 100 miles per hour. Number nine, Michaela Rose, Seasons, the NSR remix. Number eight, Jay Mazur, All Through the Night, the Jay Adams remix. Uh, number seven, Jasmine Dennis with Stars. Number six, Gennaro featuring Jade Renee, Scars, the artistic remix. Number five, Nelson Rego, We Weren't Meant to Be. Number four, Rudy Fausto, Walking Away. Number three, Nelson Rego, Broken. Number two, Marilyn Torres, In Exchange for What? You guys want to go through your list, Cliff Potts? Um, number 10, Stephanie Bennett, Hard on the Run. Number nine, Michaela Rose, um, Seasons, the NSR remix. Um, Joseph Staub, number eight, Let Me Be the One. Number seven, Louis Marte, 100 miles per hour. Uh, six, Nelson Rego, Broken. Number five, Jasmine Dennis Stars. Number four, Nelson Rego, We Weren't Meant to Be. Uh, three, um, Marilyn Torres, In Exchange for What? And number two, Walking Away, Rudy Fausto. What do you have? What are your, your what's your list? Number 10 was Stephanie Bennett, Hard on the Run. Number nine was Rudy Fausto. Number eight, uh, Ricardo Vasquez. Number seven was Scars with Jenny Renee. Number six was uh, Stars, Jasmine Dennis. Number five was Antonio, uh, Touch of Quality, My Last Breath. Number four was We Weren't Meant to Be. Nelson Are you Ray butchering the titles? I just finished talking about people butchering titles. what I do? We Weren't Meant to Antonio Be. Antonio Mercado, My Last Breath. Yeah, that's what it's called, My Last Breath. Okay, great. Isn't it? Yes. A two. Number three. A two. Bless me. Number three, Nelson Rago broken. Uh, and number two, I had inside out. Um, Mia. Who do you have for your number one spot so far for 2021? I had Marilyn Torres in exchange for what? Okay, perfect. What about you, Cliff Paz? Who do you have for number one? Inside out by Mia. Um, let's see what CPR has for number one song of 2021 so far. And that is Mia Inside Out. Um, we have uh, an agreement on that. Um, and the reason for that is because nobody has captivated 2021 like Mia has. Um, the fandom, the shows, uh, the, the, the friendships, um, the drama. <laughs> um, she stirs it all up. And, um, you know, she... She has been um, the most uh, played and requested song of 2021 so far. Inside Out is still going strong. Uh, currently, the number one song on the um, countdown uh, with uh, Rafael Reyes, the unknown admin, and also the number one freestyle song of 2021 so far. Probably the best song of 2021 so far, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, it was my, car. yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it was my number one. Um, it, it, I'm losing it right now. But, you know, when Cheryl said guitar, I'm trying to um, it was on the tip of my tongue. There was a freestyle song back in the day that had a guitar in it as well. And it, yeah, it Chris, was, yeah, you should know. Yes, right now. yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, and, I just want to buy my time. <laughs> Mark Anthony. And, and, and it brought me back to that. And, uh, you know, I will say um, I really like the production that Jay Allums did on Inside Out. I thought it was one of his best. And, um, you know, of course, with the drum appella that was part of the whole entire package, you know, yes. it, it, it just set it off. It gave that song a, a little different flavor um, with what you could do with it. Yeah. Uh, her guitar, her guitarist is amazing. Um, I feel that um, he does a great job on stage. I love the riffs that he does with the guitar uh, live. Um, and I mean, I, I can't say anything negative about that. Um, um, again, Inside Out has captivated the minds and souls of many, um, even the the male ego. There are some guys out there that have a big crush on Mia because of the song and because of. Um, you know, she's she's um she's definitely disturbing some marriages right now. 
um, <laughs> from what I, from what the social media bug says, right? Um, and that's not her fault. That's what an artist is supposed to do. Uh, Jennifer Lopez just broke up with her man, right? And she's been seen around with Ben Affleck. Hey, if she wants to go and date Batman, go for it. You know what I mean? That's that's cool. You know what I mean? Uh, ben Affleck was the bomb in uh, in Chasing Amy, my favorite movie <laughs> of all time. Yeah. And, and of course, he was the bomb in Phantoms. <laughs> so um, I don't have a problem with that. But um, going back to Mia, um, she has the number one song in Freestyle right now. Uh, coming soon, there's new music from Actual. That's uh, K7 and AB, the actual voices of TKA. Uh, they have a, 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 a mixtape and, and a CD coming out, an album, two different things. Um, they also have the, uh, I just heard the new George Anthony track, which I have on my phone and I can't share with anyone. Um, it's, it's very promising. Um, of course, we talked about Nelson Rego coming out with new music. Don't get mad at these artists for coming out with good quality freestyle content when you guys are sitting there doing nothing, it's not their fault that they're working and you're not. You know, it's it's not it's not their fault at all. Um, if I may ask, what is the worst freestyle song of 2021, Cheryl Rodriguez? Do you have one? The worst? No. I do. I have the worst song of 2021. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a there's a few and the Bible wow. assassin. It should be coming up. Uh, for me, it's uh, the Kenny Freestyle BBD. Oh, I, I didn't even consider that. I didn't even think that was like a part of the mix. If I knew that, then, you know. That that, that is uh, yeah. pretty terrible. There's a woman in there, right? Because BBD is supposed to be an mm -hmm. acronym for for a, man, a man's genitalia, right? Mm -hmm. And um, there's a woman there that's twerking, and her eyelashes has more curves than she does. Than she does. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, wow, what a terrible, terrible, terrible song. Yeah. Um, so, again, I, I think it's uh, Night Night for the Vinyl Assassin, <laughs> DJ Cliff Potts. Um, yeah, I want to thank you so much. Of course. Um, as, we, as we talked about the top 10 songs of 2021 so far for me, it's Mia Inside Out, without a doubt. She's the undisputed number one song in freestyle right now, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Marilyn Torres, In Exchange for What, a great song as well. Um, when we count down the top 40 songs of 2021, if there are 40 songs, right. um, those two songs are going to go neck and neck. Okay. And uh, at the end of the year, we always allow the audience and the DJs to vote and, and give me their top three for bonus points. Yep. So we can't wait for that. As we are rejoined right now by the Vinyl Assassin, DJ Cliff Potts, uh, we were talking about the worst freestyle song of 2021 so far. <laughs> I chose I chose uh, Kenny Freestyle, BBD, um, the worst song of 2021 so far. Uh, do you have the worst song of 2021 so far, in your opinion? I do. Who do you have? Bernardo. <laughs> <laughs> Go, uh, Reconquista de tu amor. Recon, yeah, Recon, whatever. Re recon 5, yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, recon um, 5. Yeah. I, you know, at least I can understand what he's meaning to do in the song. Uh, the the BBD by Kenny Freestyle. Like oh, I've never been a fan of Kenny Freestyle, but this this looks like an amateur <laughs> YouTube video. You know what I mean? And it, it's so bad. Yeah, it's so I, terrible. I mean, I, I heard Cheryl before. I, I you know I, I was no longer part of this uh, video, but um, <laughs> I didn't. Cons yeah, I didn't even consider it a, a yeah. track that would. Yeah, freestyle. <laughs> uh, um, I, I thought BBD was Belle Bib DeVoe. I mean, but what? Do yeah. I know? <laughs> what, what do you have as your worst song of 2021 so far, Cheryl Rodriguez? Um, I I guess if we're going there, it'd have to be Kenny Freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that you didn't like the video? No, not even that much. Yeah. It, yeah. It looked it, it, it look like, look like um it looked like a special needs video. It was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I guess we will leave it at that. Yeah. Again, again, don't forget to tune in to CPR's Clubhouse on 105.9 Fridays at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. It's uh, one hour of CPR's Freestyle Countdown and a mini mix by the Vinyl Assassin, DJ Cliff Potts. Also, you can check out The Duchess, Cheryl Rodriguez, and I on Clubhouse Dance Music every Thursday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., 
and every Friday, 8 p.m. to 12 midnight, Eastern Standard Time on 90.7 FM, WTCC. Also, you can catch all three of us, the CPR's Clubhouse crew, on 1019.com, um, Party 1019, and also on iHeartRadio. Um, you can go to iHeartRadio right now and look for Party 1019, and you can listen to us live on Sundays at 5 p.m. Uh, for two hours. You get 30 minutes of Cheryl Rodriguez, 30 minutes to an hour of The Vinyl Assassin, or you get me, CPR Jose Ortiz. I'll be back this week with CPR's Freestyle Countdown. Guys, any last thoughts? Great. Uh, let, let's hope the next half of the year gets a little better. What about you, Vinyl? Yeah, I think the same thing. Um, mm. I hope this latter part of the year gets better because, um, you know, just like any music, um, you play the quality, people are going to get mm. a little bit sick of it. Um, you know, and if they would just come out with some of the stuff they've been promising to come out with, then yeah, we'd yeah. be all right. Yes. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of good my stuff only, coming. My only advice to the listener is please um, stop letting people eat your mind and make up your own mind yourself. Get factual information, not assumption and innuendo. And who cares what the artist did? Um, there is no such thing as the freestyle castle culture. It's fake. And the reason why it's fake is because none of you can do anything to stop anyone from doing anything that they want to do. Um, it happens all the time. Um, congratulations going out to Mia, Inside Out, as she is the number one song of 2021 so far. And I want to thank uh, my guests and my partners, uh, the CPR's Clubhouse crew, the Duchess, Cheryl Rodriguez, and the Vinyl Assassin, DJ Cliff Potts. Guys, thank you so much. We're going to say goodbye right now. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. We'll see, see you Friday. You Once again, my name is CPR Jose Ortiz, and I want to thank you uh, for joining us here for CPR's Clubhouse Live. Uh, once again, don't forget to tune in to our shows. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the CPR's Clubhouse Freestyle Podcast, you can go to cprsmusic.com or go to Apple Podcasts and subscribe there. You can also go to Amazon Music. We are also available on, on um, Audible, um, audible.com. We They have podcasts now, and CPR's Clubhouse is also available on there. We are also available on Overcast and a whole bunch of other um, streaming platforms. So go ahead and go and get your link at cprsmusic.com. We'll talk to you soon.